Howdy again everyone, and today I'm putting together a short video to check out how the Nikon version of an exciting new Viltrox lens performs, their autofocus 27mm f1.2. It is an APS-C or DX camera lens, and so it does not provide a full frame image, and your Nikon Z mount camera, if it is a full frame one, will force you to shoot in its lower resolution cropped DX mode with this lens attached. But that's not to take anything away from its awesomeness in general. Anyone who's seen my original review of it on Fuji X mount will know that this lens is actually one of the best on that system, with its super bright aperture, high quality quality optics, affordable price of only about 550 US dollars, and useful focal length, the full frame equivalent of about 41mm. Certainly, if you own a Nikon DX Z mount camera, then this is one of the lenses to get, but does it perform as well as the Fuji version though? In this video, I'm going to compare how the Nikon Z version handles its electronics and autofocus, and how sharp its images look on a 20 megapixel Nikon DX sensor. That is the highest resolution Nikon DX has to offer at the time of making this video. If you want to find out more about the lens and how its optics perform, then take a look at my full review down in the description below, and if I remember, I'll pin it in the comments too. And thanks to Viltrox, who sent this lens to me for testing, although as usual, this is a totally independent review. They haven't paid me anything or put any stipulations on this content. The build quality is just as good as before, tough and metallic, although with a different Nikon lens mount, the lens is physically bigger and a little heavier, even being just a little longer than the Fuji version. The rear is still weather sealed, and this time the gasket has a kind of burnt orange colour to it, which looks attractive. We still get a USB-C port here, also for future firmware updates. I remember the Fuji version having a slight issue with its aperture mechanism, offering slightly inconsistent light levels at different apertures. Well, that didn't seem to be a problem on this Nikon version. The aperture ring still has gentle clicks, but can be set to turn smoothly. The manual focus ring still turns fantastically smoothly. On the Fuji version, its manual focus response was a little jerky, but here on Nikon Z, it's lovely and smooth. We still see a moderate amount of focus breathing here, though. Just like on Fuji X mount, the lens's autofocus motor runs quickly, silently and accurately, which is good news of course, and it had no trouble with subject tracking or anything like that, although it's not the very fastest autofocus motor I've ever seen. But overall, the build quality of this Nikon version is well up to scratch, and any slight electronic niggles with the old Fuji version seem to have been ironed out by now. Well, let's see what its image quality is like on Nikon's 20 megapixel DX sensor then. These pictures are taken with automatic corrections turned on. Straight away from f1.2, image quality in the middle is perfectly sharp and punchy, and the corners, while being a bit dark, are actually just as good. Nice. Stop down to f2 and those corners brighten up considerably and look absolutely perfect. The lens stays this sharp until you stop down to f11 or f16, where softness from the effects of diffraction really kick in, to a surprising extent, actually. Still, there's no avoiding diffraction, so this is essentially a 10 out of 10 performance. And while we're on the subject of resolution, the close-up image quality at f1.2 is noticeably softer, unfortunately. However, simply stop down to f2 and it sharpens up again. When it comes to vignetting and distortion, performance against bright lights, coma levels and bokeh, well, naturally, all that stuff is the same as the original Fuji version of the lens, so check out my full review to find out more about those. Overall, the Nikon Z version of this excellent lens actually works very slightly better than the Fuji version. It is smoother to manually focus, and minor issues with the aperture mechanism seem to have been ironed out. The lens's optical quality is frankly overkill for Nikon's 20 megapixel DX sensor here. Straight from f1.2, the picture is fantastically sharp with good contrast from corner to corner. There's really no need to stop down at all for extra resolution, although the image corners are just a little darker at the very brightest apertures. Still, just look at these gorgeous images. The lens still has to come, highly recommended.